So to answer the initial question, are free games really free? The answer is yes. You can find thousands of quality games online that you don't have to pay a penny for in all types of genres. These are games that you will actually enjoy and not just sub-rate. In today's video, we are going to show you our top picks for the 10 awesome free games to play in February 2022. Now with that being said, let's get straight into it. Starting off at number 10, we have Team of Two. This is an action and adventure game that immerses you in intense combat featuring some of the most peculiar warriors. Specifically in this title, you'll be able to control the movements of spies, doctors, soldiers, and other characters, all with their own customized weapons. With 3D graphics and a completely adaptable camera, it's easy to follow the development of the action with precision. Once you select the character you like best, the game will go ahead and match you with your teammates. In addition, in each round, you'll be able to select the weapons you'll use for shooting your opponents. Once each combat begins, you'll have a specific amount of time to find and take down all your enemies. Moving on to number 9, we have The Pillar. The Pillar is a first-person puzzle game that's openly inspired by The Witness. Here, you get to move freely around a beautiful setting while solving tons of puzzles and trying to figure out where you are and what's happening. When you're not solving puzzles directly, you can move your avatar with your left thumb and look around using your right. Most of the puzzles you have to solve include the classic flow gameplay. But of course, as you advance, the puzzles will get more and more difficult. Your final objective in the pillar is to escape from the mysterious world you find yourself in. For that, you have to interact with a series of shining pillars where more and more puzzles will appear. Coming in at number 8, we have Dead 4 Returns. This is a multiplayer co-op shooter based on the UE4 engine. It is a shooting game where the player will observe the environment from a third-person perspective, and every action the character takes needs to be done manually. In the game, you will be able to choose from two different game modes, and the number of participants in each level will be different, campaign and co-op. At the start of Dead 4 Returns level, the character is equipped with a primary weapon and a secondary weapon, and each player can pick up many items to restore HP during the game. Ammo is completely limited and requires you to use it carefully until the following ammo crates are reached. Reload. Next up at number 7, we have Sky Warriors. By joining Sky Warriors, gamers will have the opportunity to become fighter pilots and make challenging adventures in the sky. They will have their own plane and participate in the PvP war, with friends who are real players around the world. But it is not just a walk, but the ultimate shooting battle. Keep your steering wheel carefully because there are a lot of bullets heading towards you. In terms of context, Sky Warriors is portrayed based on the actual air war, but in a modern and fresh way. So, it offers real physics fighting and driving mechanics that make you unable to take your eyes off. First, choose your plane and country, and then you'll officially enter the air battle. Down to number 6, we have Lost Light. Lost Light is a 3D ARPG where you get to join the Firefly Vanguard Squad, one of the last remnants of humanity left within the lockdown zone. Your objective, above all, will be to survive in this hostile environment. To do this, you can venture out alone or cooperate with other players, forming all kinds of alliances. At first glance, Lost Light may appear to be just another third-person shooter. However, it's actually much more complex. To start, the settings are enormous and you can explore them completely freely, either by foot or in different vehicles. Plus, one of the most important aspects of the game is shelter. With the resources you get as you play, you'll be able to build and improve your own home base where you can rest and store all your treasures. Moving on to number 5, we have Mad Dex Arenas. Mad Dex Arenas is a 2D platformer that's very similar to the great Super Meat Boy, where you play a piece of meat, Dex, who has to rescue his girlfriend in all the levels of this new adventure. The gameplay is practically identical to the two previous installments in the saga. You only have three buttons, run to the left, run to the right, and jump. With these three buttons, you have to avoid hundreds of deadly traps in the form of spikes, saws, lasers, and enemies. Overall, this is a fun and addicting 2D platformer that offers a new adventure full of ridiculously hard levels. The third installment in the saga is even better than the first since it offers a considerable challenge for all mobile players. Next up at number 4, we have Pirate Raid. Pirate Raid is an action-packed pirate game where you sail a fearsome ship over the seven seas, 
fighting against other pirates and stealing their treasure. In this incredible adventure at sea, you'll need to snag your rival's booty, hone your aim with cannons and build a naval base to get the upper hand. When you sink an enemy ship, you can pick up its cargo and stash it at your base. Collect everything you can and unlock upgrades to expand your ship. At your naval base, you can increase your ship's load capacity, maximum life, damage and speed among other things. Before long, your ship will be the most feared vessel of all time. Coming in at number 3, we have Candy Disaster. Candy Disaster is an adventure strategy tower defense game that puts you in the middle of a battlefield between your own traps and candy thieves. A mysterious scientist named Jick must help a friend collect all the energy candies he created that were scattered throughout the universe. During the course of the game, you will be in a dozen different locations, and in each, you will have to fight with a variety of enemies. You will fight with opponents near the pyramids that are built in the desert, fight with the bosses in the cemetery, destroy the kidnappers in the candy factory, fight with enemies in the snowy field, and even visit the forest. Next up at number 2 we have BB World. BB World is a game that's similar to Fall Guys where you run full speed ahead with fun characters. As in the game developed by Mediatonic, you'll have to be fast if you want to qualify for each event and win the grand prize. It is consisted of 3D scenarios that are absolutely riddled with obstacles. To move, tap on the virtual D-pad, while to jump or sprint, hit the action button on the right. Before beginning each test, the number of players who will move on to the next round is announced. As you play, you'll rack up points that you can use to unlock additional accessories to make your character even more unique. What's more, each test is varied enough to keep the game from feeling stale. And finally at number 1 we have Demo 2. Demo 2 is a rhythm-based game that brings back a beautiful story, the first installment of which was beloved by players all over the world. In it, a girl named Echo, who mysteriously appeared without knowing where she came from, returns to go on new adventures with Demo, the guardian of the train station. Together, these two characters work together to solve new mysteries. One of the key aspects of Demo 2 is its many rhythm-based levels. Tap on the various piano keys at the right time to help Echo and Demo advance. As you play, more and more music notes fall from the top of the screen, keeping you on your toes as you pick up the pace to get as many points as possible. And that's everything we've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm Paul, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.